A week after a rainy day hike through the Upper Icicle River Valley, I received this rather unique letter. It was from a raindrop and she wrote this. Dear one, I picked up your vibrations long before you stopped and lingered before me. I don't see well and my hearing's not the best, but I am great at connections. You and I certainly forged one on the hiking trail last week. Believe me, I am not accustomed to such individual attention. I still blush when I replay your gentle approach and loving observation as you surveyed me from every angle where I lay in my fullness on that tattered leaf bed of wild rose. Your gaze passed right through me, and in doing so, I felt that of all the drops in the sky, you had chosen me. It was bliss until our worlds collided. I know you thought I was gone forever when your camera bumped the leaf and I rolled off, but I never hit the ground. I landed on the toe of your boot and clung there for all I was with worth. I rode there until you crossed a shallow stream and I was sluiced off by my own kind and carried away to become river again. All of which is just one more turn in the loop of my endless life cycle. I write this now as vapor from a cloud. Not long after we separated, I drifted slowly downstream and for a while circled, circled in an eddy. I expected to be drawn back into the river and pulled to the sea, but instead of heading downstream, I ended up in the stomach of a yearling doe as part of her quenching drink. Hours later, I was passed on a south-facing scree slope high on the mountain and was soon evaporated into the clouds again. As I compose this, the rest of the molecules and I are waiting for the dew point to rise. When it does, we will grow heavy, bond, and ride the rain roller coaster back to Earth. It's our favorite thing to do. Most likely I'll fall, fall far from where you roam, but who knows, as you folks say, Stranger things have happened, and I've lived a strange life. I was born in the forging heat of a distant star's molten core and blasted spaceward when my planet mother went supernova. I roamed the universe single and seeking love close to a billion years. Then I ran into a couple of crazy hydrogen molecules who'd been hanging out together since the Big Bang. Everything changed once we hooked up. The three of us, two H's and an O, wed into one to become water. I hitched a ride here on an asteroid when Earth was still barren. Ever since I've been peddling the water cycle around the planet for millions of years. I've seen mountains rise oceans fill, then locked up in glaciers and buried deep in aquifers. I have lived in living things more times than I care to recall, and have been a raindrop so many times that I could have filled Lake Chelan all by myself. I once fell as a tear onto a new baby and was absorbed into her body. I remained with her a good while as she grew. It was a sacred space, which created a profound connection between our worlds. You and I are joined in a similar fashion by the light that is life. The simple and valuable secret is this, everything is connected. When you looked through me, on that leaf, you saw the slender seam that binds us all. By now, you're probably asking, why is she writing? 
I do so to assure you that the unseen can indeed be seen. I also want to embolden you to stand with attention before the grace of thin places where the material world and the spirit world mingle and exchange precious moments of value and worth. I wrote this letter to encourage you. Keep on working.